dashboard. We're going to use count ifs here, we're going to use sum ifs here. We're also going to build in some data validation, which we covered in the first section. Uh, and basically, the idea here is to take the raw data that we have uh, and create a dynamic little dashboard along with a visual um, to kind of give you an idea of how these functions can be used as a really cool actual analytical tool. So uh, I'm on the team salary dashboard tab of the section for statistical functions Excel workbook and uh, so the first step that I'm going to do is to turn cell C2 into a data validation cell and basically I want it to allow a list of all the unique values for each team um, and that's it so first thing I need is that source list to get that I'm going to click the salary data tab I'm going to start in B2 control shift arrow down and hit control C to copy. Now I'm just going to create a new tab here and paste that data. This is kind of just a scrap sheet um, and without deselecting it uh, I'm just going to go to the data tab hit the remove duplicate buttons and hit OK. That will tell me that 33 unique values remain which are each of the individual team names. So I'll hit OK. That's going to become the source list for my data validation drop down. So let's jump back to team salary dashboard, back to cell C2, go into data, data validation, click the data validation button, and then in the allow drop down, we're going to choose list, and in the source section, we're going to choose the data selector there, jump to sheet two, select A1, control shift arrow down to A33, and then press that same button again to lock it in. So now if we press OK, we've got our drop down list of each team. Um, so that's step one. Step two is actually populating this array of data um, using a countif and a sumif formula uh, to pull in the correct data based on the team and the year. So as you can tell, there are two criteria that we're dealing with here, which means we have to use the sum ifs and count ifs versions of the functions. Um, so let's get started. Uh, for total salary, since we're going to be summing an actual data range, we need to use the sum ifs here. So I'm going to start with the sum ifs formula, open the parenthesis, and remember my first component is the sum range. So what am I taking the sum of? Well, this is the salary column, so I'm going to be taking the sum of salary. That data lives in the salary data sheet in column E. So I'm going to select that whole column. I'm going to press F4 to lock it in uh, just in case this formula moves from column to column. Um, I want to always calculate salary in this case. I'm going to hit the comma to get to my criteria range 1. So I have two criteria that I'm working with here, team and year. Uh, it doesn't matter which order I go in. Uh, I could set my team criteria first, then year, or vice versa. So in this case, let's just do team first. So criteria range one is the range in which my first criteria values live. So if I'm doing team first, that's gonna be column B. Again, I'll lock it in with the F4 shortcut. And then my comma over, the next piece that I need is the actual criteria that I'm looking to pull out of range one or looking to identify within range one. Um, and that value is gonna be found in cell C2. So I'm gonna lock that again. That means whatever team name uh, is populated in cell C2 is going to be fed into this sum ifs formula. Um, so comma over, now I'm on criteria range 2. So my second criteria is the year. So where do my years live? They live in salary data column A. Again, F4 to 